Okay, so we are still on page 96 of our red book. We're now looking at question two. So let's see what this one brings. So again, we are going attic. We are going basement. We are putting our V, excuse me, our M and our N down the side. We know that what goes in the basement is going to be used by a pipette so we have to have a little scroll through and we're looking for the idea that we now have 25 centimeter cubed portions of our base that is going to go into our basement so that's 25 the ratio for our sodium hydroxide our base is two and at the moment when I look to see what is left I have a 0 0.15 big m sulfuric acid in my attic and the ratio from that is one i put that in the right place okay i have so we are looking for we also have extra information in our question because we have at the moment two things here that are missing so to figure out what we have we have a look at our extra info and the extra info has the idea of these numbers down here. So we have 17.1 centimeter cubes, we have 16.7 centimeter cubed, and we also have 16.8 centimeter cubed. So we need to remember that one of the thing, ways we make our titrations accurate is we're within plus or minus 0.1, which means this guy is ruled out, and we will find the average of this which in this case, when you do the maths will be 16.75 centimeters cubed. And that is going to go up here, 16.75 centimeters cubed. Okay, so we said without looking at the question, because we can get most things from it, we are going to do our W maths, our first principle maths. So we're going to start, this is going to be our way in over here. So we always start with the big M value. Um, and that's going to be, and we go down to the bottom. And when we go down, we're going to divide by a thousand to turn this into a centimeter cubed. We now go up. And when we go up, we multiply it by our tighter volume. We use our ratio across the top. Once we find what, when we've used our ratio, we'll be going back down to the bottom. So we divide by tighter volume. We figure out what's in centimeter cubed of our other reagent. And then we go back up by multiplying by a thousand to find a big M value. Okay, again, the other piece of maths that we're going to do is our mass triangle. So we have our moles down our bottom left, our mass on the top and our molar mass, which we will have to calculate on our right. I'm not looking at annotating anything. I'm just looking at um, getting those two pieces of um, things done and then coming back to it. So our way in is going to be the 0.15 big M. So we always start with by saying what 0.15 means, and that means not 0.15 moles in a thousand centimeters cubed. Okay, so that at this point, we are up here on our little W, we're going to divide by a thousand. So not 0.15 divided by a thousand is going to give me 1.5 by 10 to the minus four moles in a centimeter cubed. And again, however your calculation gives, or your calculator gives you as an answer, we, we go with that. So now we are at that point on our triangle. We're now going to go up by multiplying by our tighter volume. So in that case, it's going to be 16.75 centimeters cubed. So once we do that, we are getting 2.51 by 10 to the minus 3 moles and that is going to be in 16.75 centimeters cubed and I just always remind myself that is our tighter volume. So we're about to use our ratio. The ratio that we are going to use is one that says it's going a 1 is to 2. Um, there are loads of significant figures that come after this 2.51 here you can leave them in your calculator and you just work with them um but we write it as maybe three significant figures 
when we write. So we're going to have 2.51 by 10 to the minus 3. And we have to multiply that by 2 for by using our ratio. And now we are at, not, sorry, I'm going to keep it on the scientific notation. We're going to go 5.02 by 10 to the minus 3 moles. And that is now in 25 centimeters cubed. And that is also a tighter volume. So what is else do I want to say? If you notice in our piece of maths, we started with our 0 0.15. We divided by 1,000, which we have to know how to do. We multiplied by our tighter volume, which was the 16.75. So we've now used this bit and this bit. So when we multiply by our 16.75, that brings us up to the top of our, um, getting to the flat part of our W. We use our ratio, which is the 1. So we have now used all the numbers on the left-hand side. When we use the ratio, we now flip over to this side. So when we multiplied by 2 to get the 5.02 by 10 to the minus 3, this is where we're at. Our next step tells us that we have to divide it by our tighter volume of 25. So we now have 5.02 by 10 to the minus 3. We're dividing that by 25. To give us, which is going to be equal to 2.01 by 10 to the minus 4, that is moles in a centimeter cubed, which brings us to this point in our maths. And our last step is going to be multiplying by a thousand to turn it into a big M value. So multiply by a thousand and we get 0 0.201 big M. So that's all I got in my calculator. There's three significant figures there. Technically up here, this 16.75 is four significant figures. So if you wished for a preciseness, you can just put a zero in here at the end. And that is now that answer. So we've said you do your W first principle maths, and then you go for your um, mass triangle. So our mass triangle, we're in the basement and the sodium hydroxide is in the basement, so it will be moles per litre multiplied by molar mass, which we have to calculate. So again, you all show your examiner everything that you're doing is equal to 1, and you write down your answer. By doing all of this, if you were, for some unknown reason, to do the maths on this and write 39, the, the marks that are going for this, they call it a slip. So it would be 3, more than likely take away 1. If you just wrote the 39 over here and you did nothing, you are now getting zero marks for this because this is incorrect. So always, always, always show you're working out. Okay, we'll just clean this up a little bit. Okay, so we are now to finish this up, multiplying this by 40, like so. And when we do that, we get 8.04 grams in a litre. If we want it to be precise, we can go 8.040, that's four significant figures like in our question. And now we just have a look and we see, have I answered everything that is asked? So looking up here, the moles of sulfuric acid used at the end point. So this time my moles of sulfuric acid used at my end point is here. Okay, that is going to get the annotation one over the top. The next thing it's asking me is the moles of sodium hydroxide neutralized at my end point. So that's when I use my ratio, is when I see the moles of my second substance. This is going to get annotated at 2. And the last one has two annotations to it. It wants my big M answer, excuse me, hiccups, which is going to be a 3. And it wants my grams per liter answer. And that's also going to be a 3. Um, you do not have to do this annotating this box. If you're unsure about what it is that you need to annotate, you just leave it blank. And as long as everything works down your page, your examiner will be more than happy to, to find your answers. You do need to check though our little bits up here. Um, I know I've given you the answers just to help you out when you're doing this at home. Um, but you do have to have a little read through to think, is there anything else weird or wonderful that I have to do? Okay, so that is where we're going to leave question two on page 